Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Lovett, AKA B Love. Today we're gonna to be talking about practical 3D prints, Garden Edition. Over these past couple months, we've all been stuck inside during these crazy times of the pandemic. And one of the things that's really helped me pass the time personally is my ever growing outdoor urban garden. Naturally, once I started expanding my garden, I wanted to see how 3D printing can be used to help make this an even better and more enjoyable experience. Let's start by talking about strawberries. I've got dozens of strawberry plants behind me and one of the things I noticed is that as the strawberries begin to ripen, they oftentimes touch the dirt and when they do that, they tend to rot. These nice simple stands have a cutout to go around the strawberry plant. They also help elevate things. So the strawberries as they grow around, just hang down and settle on this and don't touch the dirt. Installation is simple. We simply grab the strawberry, pull up some of the leaves, and wrap this around the center portion of the plant. As strawberries begin to grow and ripen and pull down on the plant, the strawberries now rest on these stands instead of falling onto the ground where they can begin to rot. As with pretty much all of my practical 3D prints, I suggest you use PETG instead of PLA for these prints. Being exposed to high temperatures outside, moisture and water, those tend to break down PLA or melt it very quickly. Now, once I printed out those strawberry holders, I noticed that those tend to shift around, especially when you water. So my next practical 3D print for the garden is these flexible TPU clips. These are super easy to print. They have these teeth, so they lock in place and they're printed out of flexible TPU. Now, if you're not familiar with TPU, it's really just almost like an elastic or a rubberized material. For the strawberry holders specifically, we wrap these TPU bands around the outside edges. And once those are in place, that makes these harder to come apart and they don't really shift around or move anymore. And that's exactly what we want. So now we have a nice finished strawberry garden where every single plant is supported. Moving over to the next planter, we've got tomatoes, beets, Brussels sprouts. We've even got artichokes over on that side. Now let's stop and talk about the tomatoes. One of the things tomatoes usually have is a wire surrounding that keeps everything off the ground. It keeps the tomatoes from falling out and it provides some structure as the plants grow and become heavier. I don't really want to make a trip to Lowe's or Home Depot right now. so. What can we use to replace that with 3D printing? I happen to have two different versions, this that we've printed and this handful of pieces. And we'll show you how this gets assembled, but both of these are stackable and they can grow with your plants. Now this first one is pretty straightforward. You simply slip this around the tomato plant and the legs slide into the ground. Now as the plant grows, you can see these holes all around the outside you simply print another one of these and stack them on top. Pretty simple, right? This next one is a little more robust. It comes with multiple legs. So you'll simply place one of the legs, place your second leg, slide the ring in place, place a third leg, and again, continue snapping these in place. You'll see that once you have the three legs down, that creates a full ring and it's pretty secure. Now, if you wanna do a second layer, you simply pop these pieces on top and then add a second layer of rings. And just like that, you've got a nice basket around your tomatoes that'll grow as your tomatoes grow. And what good is having vegetables if you can't tell what you've actually planted in each planter? Well, to make that easier, I found these on Thingverse. The cool thing about these is they can print with multiple materials. So you can have different layer heights change the color to different colors. Now you don't need a multi-material printer. It just changes the color at different layer heights. So with these, you're able to print off a couple of dozen different types of vegetables. You could even individualize them and make sure that the colors actually match the vegetables themselves, sort of like I've done here with these carrots. Let's put our beets over here. Strawberries are obviously over here. Brussels sprouts, these monstrosities of pumpkins. And finally, although they're hard to see, and I probably should plant them somewhere else next year, we've got carrots in the middle of there. Now, of course, the last thing you want in your garden is pests. So I picked up some of this netting that goes over the top to help keep the pests out. 
but I noticed a problem with it. It just doesn't stay secured well to the edges of these raised containers. As you can see, it's not attached anywhere. It's kind of flimsy and it just kind of moves around. So my solution to that problem was to 3D print these large PETG clips. These are a little bit flexible, but I scaled them up in size so they snap directly on the edges of these raised containers. And I'll show you now. Now you can pull the netting tight and you can just simply snap these on the sides. This keeps everything in place. Do the same on the other side. And finally, one on the back. Now my netting is nice and secured. It's not coming off when we water or when there's high winds or even worse, hail. Moving to the other side of the house, I've got a couple things I can fix with 3D printing as well. We've got these sharp corners on the edge of our house where the corner is. We've also got this beautiful flower over here and the garden hose likes to wrap around it, cause all kinds of problems. So I've 3D printed these spinners for the garden hose. I've got these long metal spikes and I'm able to just stick these in the ground like so. With those secured into the ground, we're able to wrap the garden hose around it and prevent all of those issues we had at the corner. These next few prints are all about watering and fertilizing your garden. The first one we'll start off with is this. This is actually a hose repair tool. And I did an entire video on this subject, which I'll link down below. But the idea here is that if you happen to break your garden hose, as I did, you can cut off the end and you can use this as a replacement to actually repair your garden hose without having to get a brass adapter from a hardware store. And this one's been working for about a month now, hasn't had any issues. It's 100% infill PETG, and it's withstood all of the things I've thrown at it. But what about watering your garden? Well, I was able to 3D print this. It almost looks like sort of a carrot, but it's a nozzle for your garden hose. And the, the cool thing about this one is it actually prints in one piece with a Gardena hose adapter already built in. All you have to do is apply the rubber grommet on the end. So this just snaps in to your existing Gardena hose connectors, just like so. And then it works like any other garden hose spray nozzle. Being 100% infill PETG, this thing's pretty heavy actually for what it is. It weighs a lot more than you would think given its size. It should be durable. It should stand up to the water pressures and everything else it needs to be able to water the garden. Now, what if you have a regular sprayer, but you happen to have lost the little rubber O-ring that goes inside of it? Well, fortunately, 3D printing's got your back there as well. See, this was printed out of TPU, which if you're not familiar, is a flexible material that's almost like rubber. So you can see it bends and flexes just like a rubber O-ring would. And this one happens to just pop right inside and it's a perfect replacement in case you lost that rubber o-ring it's always nice to save a trip to the hardware store and that leads us to this one now this one's more of a work in progress but the idea here is that when you're watering your garden obviously you don't want to have real high pressure because it tends to blow the leaves around and cause damage to your plants so with this it has a very large body and it has this large surface area so it's able to bring out water in a very slow controlled way it also has this secondary section right here that you can use to connect an external bottle for fertilizing. Now I say this one's a work in progress because these threads on this end right here didn't print out quite as nicely as I would have liked. So the seal isn't as good and it tends to leak a little bit, but I think I can fix that. So let's go ahead and hook this up. We'll use my Gardena hose adapter on the back. We'll use one of my 3D printed rubber gaskets. As you can see, there's almost unlimited potential outdoors for your home and garden with 3D printing. Let me know down in the comments below which of these 3D prints was your favorite also, let me know if I missed any or if there's something cool that you'd like to see in a future video. Thanks so much, everybody. Until next time, go 3D print something.